Hey guys, MTG Noob here, bringing you the next installment of Avis and Restored Spoilers. Um, this is the first time I'm seeing them for tonight, so let's get into it. Angel of Jubilation, let's see if they have a picture. As always, I didn't check, but this one looks real nice. Um, triple White is pretty restrictive, and one. It's rare, creature type, angel, flying, other non-black creatures you control get 1-1, one, one. so this is an anthem for all the creatures except for black creatures. Players can't pay life or sacrifice creatures to cast spells or activate abilities. Okay, so that's pretty good, and that kind of craps on, uh, I'd say, zombies a little bit. Things with Mortipod, getting tricks like that. Um, uh, Taxius Probe is bad because you can't pay the two life, so that might see some play. Uh, let's go into the blue. Latch Seeker, colorless and two blue is a 3 1 spirit, and it's unblockable. Okay, so that's pretty nice. Uh, it doesn't have hexproof, so that's alright. But being unblockable is pretty good, but it's an uncommon. I don't really see too much play with that. Alright, another black card. Killing Wave. Alright, X and Black. This is a rare sorcery. For each creature, its controller sacrifices it unless he or she pays X life. So, that's pretty crazy. I can't even process that at the moment. Um, so, it basically kills, you know, a creature unless the, the player pays X life. Meaning, if you have five creatures and you play this for six, you can just, maybe they'll save one creature, but they'll probably let, let the rest die. So, that's pretty good, but it doesn't only affect your opponent, it affects you. So, I mean, maybe in a control deck with limited creatures, that could be really sweet. Okay, here's a mythic. Craterhoof Behemoth. Five colorless and triple green. Mythic Beast. Haste. When it comes into the battlefield, creatures you control gain trample and get XX until end of turn, where X is the number of creatures you control, and it's a 5-5 five, five, hasting trample that gives overrun. So, um, huge bomb in limited, especially sealed if you can build around it and support it. Um, I can't really see this being really good and constructed. Maybe somehow in a pod deck where they can get up to 8 mana. It might make 7 drops more viable, but probably not. Another green card, Dru Druid's Respo Rep Repository, sorry, most said uh, Depository, or Suppository. Um, this seems to be a rare. It's 1 and 2 green. It's an enchantment. Whenever a creature you control attacks, put a charge counter on this card. Remove a charge counter from this card, add 1 mana, of any color to your mana pool. So this is pretty good at ramping you, but you need creatures into play. So I mean I guess it gets pretty good with early drops. You play it, you build up your mana, you play something pretty big earlier. Okay, and the last card tonight is Moon Silver Spear, which is colorless artifact, so it costs four. It's a rare, it's an equipment. Equip creature has first strike. Okay, it costs four to equip. And whenever a equipped creature attacks, put a 4-4 white angel token with flying onto the battlefield. So this is also a bomb. It takes all your crappy little guys and makes them into Geists of St. Treffs, like ghetto versions. But I think the cards spoiled tonight are really sweet. And as always, check out our subscriber contest, which you can win a whole box of Aveston Restored. And thanks for watching, and please subscribe.